down on Wednesday. Salisbury State is at Nazareth. Cortland State is at Hobart. Hobart, the longtime defending national champs. Gettysburg at Ohio Wesleyan. And Hamden Sydney will be at Chestertown to play Washington College. Seagulls have a playoff lacrosse game dead ahead. The Salisbury State Seagulls will be back in the NCAA Division III tournament for the first time in four years tomorrow. They face the Golden Flyers of Nazareth College in Rochester, New York. And the Gulls are hoping this marks a return to their tradition of success in college lacrosse. Making the NCAA tournament used to be an annual occurrence for Salisbury State. But after three years on the outside, the Gulls are back in. And first-year head coach Jim Berkman says that was his top priority all along for 1989. That was our primary goal, to get Salisbury back in the playoffs and get back to that tradition they once had here four or five years ago. And hopefully this will be a consistent thing from now on. The Gulls will face a team tomorrow they've run into before. Nazareth came to Salisbury on March 28th and beat the Gulls 17-11. Uh, we gave up a lot of transition goals late in the third quarter when we were down one. Um, and we missed some easy shots in the third quarter also. But also we ran into some hot goaltending. So hopefully in this game our goal is to, to eliminate the transition goals, make them play all even, six on six, and then get a few transition goals ourselves. The Gulls' biggest problem tomorrow may not be Nazareth College, but postseason pressure. Their coach thinks facing Nazareth again helps alleviate a little of the stress. With this is the second time we've played this team, so it's like, like a new team and a new experience. It's kind of a new experience for them, but it's against another team who I think they really sincerely believe that they can beat, and that should give them the confidence to get over some of those pregame jitters that are involved with an NCAA tournament. If the Salisbury players need reassurance, they can turn to their coach. Even though this is Berkman's first appearance as a head coach, he's not a stranger to the tension of tournament action. I've been there a number of times before as a player and as an assistant, and, you know, we're just treating this as another game, and uh, we take them one game at a time, and just like we have all season. Heard that before, but it's a good strategy, taking it one at a time. They play tomorrow at 3.30 in Rochester. Tough loss for the Gulls. It was wet, rainy, muddy, mm. and that's what happened to them today. The Golden Flyers of Nazareth College were flying high today. They ripped Salisbury State 25-10. to 10 in the first round of the NCAA Division III lacrosse tournament. Here are the highlights from Rochester. We'll pick it up with Marty Kelly for Nazareth in the white, scoring one of his seven goals on the day. That one comes right there, and that gave uh, the Golden Flyers plenty to be happy about. Salisbury tries to come back. Bucky Sharrett scores there to make it 7-3. There's the Salisbury bench. They'll see Jeff Abair make a nice effort here. The ball comes to him. Watch him sneak between the goalie and the defenseman. Put the shot in. That made it 7-4. But here comes Nazareth. Darius Kilgore will score from point-blank range here. He fires it in. They led 11-6. They scored five straight goals in the second half, and they rolled 25-10 over Salisbury State. Nazareth will play Hobart in the semifinals, also winning today Washington College, and they will face Ohio Wesleyan in the semis on Sunday, Washington beat Hamden-Sydney, Ohio Wesleyan beat Gettysburg by identical 12-5 to scores.